WFAA's Scoop Jefferson is also live at the fairgrounds tonight, right at gate five. We know police have blocked up all of the entrances. So Scoop, it doesn't look too busy behind you now, but I'm sure earlier tonight, getting out there, getting to that scene, it had to be very difficult with traffic as people were all trying to leave at one time. You're absolutely right that evacuation not only meant getting people out of the fairgrounds, but also getting them to their cars and getting that traffic under control as thousands of people uh, were asked to leave the State Fair of Texas. This is gate five, as you mentioned. I'm going to step out of the way and give you a look. You see the police car here at every entrance around the State Fairgrounds. There is a Dallas police officer uh, staged there with their lights flashing. They're being very, very uh, particular about who can enter uh, the fairgrounds. A uh, fairgrounds spokesperson told me that they have actually released the entire fairgrounds to the police department as part of their investigation. Now, although um, the uh, fairgrounds is closed, we do know that there are still some vendors inside the fairgrounds as well as some employees. In fact, uh, we saw some employees walking out earlier this evening. You can see the disappointment on their faces. One employee told me that she does plan to come back tomorrow if the fairgrounds is open. And as far as that is concerned, I did ask that question to one of the spokespersons for the State Fair of Texas, and she sent me a text saying, we are discussing options pending the results of the DPD investigation. We will communicate broadly once plans are finalized. Now, keep in mind that shutting down the State Fair of Texas on a Sunday, that would impact not only the people who would plan to visit the fair tomorrow, but also the vendors who are here to make money and also the employees who are basically counting on getting paid for working here at the State Fair of Texas. The investigation is ongoing here. Uh, and again, we are seeing people slowly leave out um, of the fairgrounds. That includes, again, employees and vendors uh, because, the, again, uh, the investigation is still underway into that shooting that happened here tonight. Back to you in the studio.